Hello, this is Michael with PhilTech Academy. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about ladders. If you're gonna be successful as a freelance IT tech, as a third-party contractor, you're gonna to have to have good ladder solutions. Today, I'm gonna to talk about what kind of ladders I use, why I use the ladders that I use, the brands, the sizes, and lastly, how these multi-position ladders actually work. I have a Gorilla brand multi-position ladder and I have a little giant multi-position ladder. The biggest reason I don't like the Gorilla branded ones is because of the release mechanism on the height adjustment. A lot of times you get the wrong kind of pressure on this and you have a heck of a time getting this to pull out. On the little giants, this has a rounded mechanism that you can actually get your hand behind to actually pull for your height adjustment. The other thing I've noticed is that the weight is slightly better with the little giant. This is a little heavier and I really just don't like this snap mechanism when you're wanting to make it a straight extension ladder on the little giants is just so much easier to work with. So that's why for a multi-position ladder, I chose Little Giant over Gorilla. Now we still use the Gorilla in one of my employees' vans, so it's functional, it will work. If you're not familiar with the multi-position ladder, let's talk about that first. These are so versatile and they fold up into a small footprint. I'm six foot tall. So you can see that this is about, what, four and a half feet tall. These will fit into almost any SUV and of course any minivan. And a lot of us that are out and doing this third party contract work are working out of minivans and SUVs and even small cars a lot of times will have fold down seats where you can put this in the back of the trunk. When it comes to multi-position ladders, there's several different sizes. These can range up to a very large size. And this is kind of what I would call a mid-range there is one size smaller than this in both the Gorilla and the Little Giant. I found that that shorter version is just a little too short to be practical out on most service calls that we run. So spending an extra few dollars to get this mid-range version, which is typically the 17-foot model, is what you're going to want to do. Let me show you how they work. If you want to just use it as an A-frame, you'll press these in to release the lock, and you'll see that when this pops into place, you'll see that this is unsecured. When you bring it back to that center point, then that locks into position. So now you know you're safe. From here, you can go higher. With the little giants, you just pull these out on each side and I stick them above the hole because you don't want this fighting the hole as you're raising it. Once you've got all four releases out, and you lift it. Every place that there is a rung, you'll see that there are holes. So each one of these holes is a spot where you can lock it into place. So you can make several different adjustments. If you want to go to the max height, you'll go to the bottom rung and then you'll line it up step to step and that should give you your hole without having to eyeball it. See it locks right in place. Same thing on this side, rung to rung, goes right in place. Obviously, you can do different types of A-frame. You can make it lean a little bit if you need to. So you can bring it where you've got a sharper angle if you're trying to get up close to a wall, maybe, and you just need a little bit of height on this side. Any further than that, I think you're gonna be risking danger in terms of how far you're leaning. Next, let's talk safety in taking this down. You gotta remember that this part is gonna slide down. So if you got your hand in this area, when you let go of these releases, you're gonna run the risk of crushing your hand. Keep that in mind when you're using these, you need to keep your hands on the outside edges and bring it down gently. The other part of this that is beautiful is that it will fold out completely straight, so you can use it as an extension ladder. Again, do your top releases. Now you have an extension ladder. From here, you can extend it on both sides. You can release here, run this up, or it's beyond what you can reach. So you're gonna do this one first. This is the max height. Now already, we're well beyond our 10-foot ladder. Of course, this is not gonna work out in the middle of a sales floor or someplace where you don't have a wall on which to lean it or you don't have red iron or some solid surface. As you can see, I can go even taller. And 
of course, you've got this kind of height, but the footprint when it's all folded up is only here. This is especially where you gotta be worried about how you handle where you put your hands. Because there's a lot of weight and this thing is ready to go straight down. So once you do these releases, you need to make sure you don't have your hands inside this frame without having a good hold on it. Because if I were to drop it right here, all that weight would come down on my hands. You can either take it back down to A-frame to finish getting it, because I can't obviously reach that point. So I'm going to bring it down to A-frame. And then I can more easily deal with tracking it. Then last step, unlock it again. And you're back to your completely compact Footprint. I'm six foot tall, so this is getting me about seven feet in the air. For most service calls, this is going to take care of you. There are going to be times you're going to need a taller ladder, and that's why I've purchased a 10 foot ladder. Here's your size comparison for the 17 foot little giant or gorilla multi position ladder versus an actual 10 foot ladder. You're going to get another two or three feet out of an actual 10 foot ladder, but you're going to lose the versatility of being able to store it inside your vehicle. The 10 footer, I usually just keep in a storage building. I don't transport it all the time. I find that in most cases, I don't need it. There's no reason to have it on the van at risk of being stolen. The three step ladder is a great thing to carry around for a lot of lightweight work when you don't really need to get high into a ceiling. A lot of times you're going to run into service calls where you're going to have a rack mounted on the wall in a manager's office, things like that. So you're going to need some height. You don't want to stand on a chair, especially not a rolling chair. So having a little three foot step stool is awesome and it is very lightweight, so it's easy to carry around. It also takes up a very small profile in your work vehicle. As you can see, I'm working out of a minivan. Once I've completely folded this up, I can easily keep it on its edge. And slide this into my van so that everything fits and I can still have access to all of my tubs and organizers. Same thing with the three foot step ladder. I can just keep it on its edge right here. That's how I store and transport my ladders that will fit inside the van. I know it's pretty sexy uh, subject matter here talking about ladders, but these are the kinds of things that if you're not in this industry, you need to know so that you can be effective. If you got value today, please like the video, subscribe to the channel and check out my website at fieldtechacademy.com. I offer one-on-one -on -one coaching as well as some downloads for how I organize my van and even a client list that you can buy that can add new income to your current situation. I'll see you in the next video.